Welcome everyone to another video of Body's Passive Income. I'm Dominic Barriato. This is the most anticipated video of the year, uh, aka it's uh, January 3rd when I'm filming this. Uh, it's the pricing strategy video for 2021, 2022, and beyond. I guess it doesn't really matter what year. Um, but there's been some debates and back and forth on how you should be pricing your t-shirts. A lot of the big guys, um, Ryan, Shimmy, uh, Detour Shirts, Jonna, um, Jonah, sorry, um, there's other people that I'm missing have all, you know, started raising the price of their t-shirts, uh, and I actually went back and forth with this on Ryan on Facebook Messenger and kind of, like, different strategies, so for the last two or three weeks I've been testing, uh, actually, uh, upping the price of it because I was pretty much, I would not raise it beyond fifteen ninety five, sixteen ninety five, dollars uh, unless it was, like, number one, like, this number one shirt I had reviews, uh, I would do $19.99. So, um, been tweaking the pricing strategy, kind of took what everybody else said, uh, collaborated with uh, some of them, and, and this is kind of what I've come up with that during my three week test, what has worked for me. Um, doesn't mean it's going to work for you, and it really depends on the situation and the scenario. So, uh, you just can't flat out just raise the price of everything because it's also going to determine your competition and what they're doing as well. And I'll give you some examples in this. And also, I believe in pricing in 95. Uh, if, if like this person is 1595, you know, don't do $18. I work in marketing um, uh, and market research and consumer insights, and I know what's in the minds of people and where you should and should not be pricing wise. I've done lots of uh, research on into this, and uh, there's kind of a price point. There's a reason, or do 98 over 99. There's a reason Walmart does it as well. So that's besides the point. So we'll just get straight into the video. Um, so here is a case of charging too much money. Um, you should always start at 13.95 is what I do, zero to two sales, and I'll show you at the very end of this kind of my pricing strategy uh, in a PowerPoint. Um, but zero to two sales, I always start at 13.95 because you need a BSR rank, which is this right here. That's you can be on page. Let's go to page three. No one's gonna find you. See, no rank, no rank, no rank, no one's gonna find you. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So you have to have at least some sales, otherwise no one's gonna pay a premium when uh, other people are on the first page. So reviews drive everything. If you have reviews, you can charge pretty much 19.99, and you're golden. Good or bad doesn't matter. Reviews uh, drive everything because it makes you stand out from the rest of the pack. It doesn't matter if it's two stars, three stars, five stars. Obviously, you want a five star. It does not matter. But having reviews is king of everything. I actually, have a vote remove stubborn orange stain shirts, which is actually I believe this one right here. I think that's mine. Um, so I have reviews, so I can charge a lot of money. I'm not charging a lot of money on the shirt right now because I haven't sold any in quite a long time because the election's over, but you get my drift. So in cases like this, I would not charge $19.99. I would not charge $17.99. Um, maybe max $15.99, $16.99, which is why I kept my price the same, is because look at all the designs. They're all similar. Vote, vote, vote. They all look like the tide symbol. Vote, 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 vote. vote. This one says Biden. Vote, vote, vote. You see how they all look the same? So to the consumer, they're either going to go with the one that has the most reviews, the most best reviews, um, ones that look the biggest, boldest, like this one, ones that stand out, and then price. So it's like, well, if this one looks the same as this one, well, I'm going to buy this one because it's $4 cheaper, and it's pretty much the same thing. So when you have a lot of similar designs, you don't want to be outpriced by everybody. You either want to undercut them or you want to be somewhere in the middle, and that's kind of where I sat uh, over here. Um, and some of these other people that they all look the same, so there's no point to charge $19.99. Um, yes, people at bottom didn't mean they bought them at $19.99. Uh, there's just no point to charge $19.99 for that. So you've got to really know your market and who your competition is and what you're charging. Obviously, if you're number one, like this person is number one, uh, they could be charging a lot more because they dominate the spot. They have five, they have six five star reviews. They should be charging more money than $15.95. Uh, going to another example, Jesus is my savior, Trump is my president shirt. I actually have one of these. I've sold a couple of these. Another one, 1307. They're charging way too little because they've had sales. They have reviews. They just probably never updated their price at all. 
uh, this person charges 1999. They can charge 1999 because they have 60 star or 60 reviews, five stars, um, and they you know it's a good design. But you can see there's a lot of people with other similar designs, so you just got to be careful. If there wasn't you know all these people with all these reviews, you got to think, hmm, who who's gonna buy my shirt? Am I gonna rather pay 1995 or am I gonna be 1399? You know they always say in, in you know whether you're selling services or whatever, you want to be in the middle. You don't want to be the lowest, you don't want to be the highest, you want to be in the middle. People, you know, they the saying is, or, or the, the thought is, if you're paying more, you're getting a better quality. And that's not always the case. So sometimes if you're just in the middle, that's a good thing. So charging 19.99 is not always a good thing. Some people, you're going to just price out of the market because there's competition of similar shirts. Um, like this and this are very, very similar. And this is thirteen ninety nine. This is nineteen ninety nine. But since it has so many reviews, people are probably going to buy that. But let's see if we can find ones that don't have really any, any you know close reviews. Um, yeah, let's go to like page three here. Um, so like here, we'll take these two. They're both not ranked. They're similar, kind of you know same sayings, flag. This one I think looks better, um, but fourteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine. Mm, if I just wanted, you know, the shirt that says this, I'm probably gonna go for the cheaper one. So there's, they've already priced themselves out of the market. That's what I mean. And they have no sales because there's no BSR rank. So it's stuff like that you just gotta be careful for. Um, same thing right here as well. I'm just curious. You know, it's they're using my font T. This is all American graphics right here, but you know they have one review, and so they can charge a little bit more, and it stands out. This is uh, all sunsets. It stands out, um, but you know same thing. It's you know these are all kind of similar, but they're charging too much money. Like these are literally the same right here. Um, it looks like they even copied them for beta. It might be the same person. I don't know. Or are they just doubling? There's just no. You just got to be careful with that. Uh, first responders. When this one starts getting the mixed back, so it's a theme of a shirt. Uh, I actually sell one of these. Uh, one of these is mine, um, which I'll tell you. It's this one right here. So I don't care. I'll tell you this is my shirt right here. Um, and you can see I have six five star reviews. I actually should raise the price of this. I have not raised the price of this one for a reason, and that's because um, it mainly sells to first responders, and I support what they're doing, and I don't want to price gouge them. I know I'm in the business of making money, but I just don't feel right charging a premium for this shirt. So, um, but you can see coming in my SEO. If everybody wants to know kind of what my SEO service is, you can see how I hit every single word. Good title. I hit everything. Same with the description. The, you know, this is one of my designs. I'm showing you guys one of my designs. Literally, you can see it right here, and that it's it sold six reviews. Um, but same thing here. I have six reviews, so I stand out from everybody. Who's gonna buy this over mine? Well, this they have 81 compared to six. They can charge 19.99. Like I said, I'm not gonna raise my price of it. But this to this, look at theirs is more expensive, and it has less reviews. Yes, it had some sales, but people are most likely going to gear towards reviews. Um, now if you start going down to the bottom, we'll go to like page three, because if you guys start to enter the market, obviously I would not copy my design everybody. You can do a different style. You see how there's different style shirts here. Um, let's see here. You know, this one right here is $14.99. They're charging way too much money. Do they even have a BSR? They do. I don't know how many sales they have. This one's a different style of flag. Ah, this one's kind of all over the place here. You know, charging $19.99. They've sold probably one. I, I just don't agree with that because there's a lot of different style ones here that people can choose from. So there's a lot of competition. You have to have reviews to, to dominate that. Bitcoin. Also sell Bitcoin shirts. Um... As you can see here, this actually cool little graphic right here. I've never seen that one in, in Bitcoin We Trust. Get Richard, die mining, funny shirts. Uh, you know, you can see they have a lot of reviews. Sixteen ninety nine, good, good. Crypto millionaire loading, interesting, interesting shirt. Very simple design shirt, but they have reviews. They can dominate and do what they want. You know, they're you know this guy's probably charging a little too little, but you just have to be careful with. Let's go to page three here. 
you know, of people with exact similar shirts. Like, I told you so right here, they're charging $19.99, and they probably had one sale, where this one's also charging $19.99. Let's see, Bitcoin, I told you so. Let's... Bitcoin, I told you so. Sure. So, you can see there's a bunch of people... 1895, 1699, 1690, 1595. This is an ad. Um, 1999. He's number one, so he can charge 1999. He's 1899. He has a lot of reviews. He can charge those kind of prices. But if you're on page four, for instance, which a lot of these aren't even I told you so, so these are long tail keywords. Told you so, come on. These are premium shirts. Let's go to page three here. Plan B. I told you so right here. $18.99 they're charging. Um, and they're on page three. You, you're not going to compete with anybody. Do they have a rank? No rank. So they haven't even sold the shirt and they're charging $18.99. This is why you don't just price at $18.99. So you've got to really know your market. And that's kind of my whole point of the, this video is you can't just blatantly just charge $19.99 because you feel like charging $19.99. You have to have proof. You have to have a good design. You have to have good SEO. You have to have reviews. There's a lot of things that go into being able to charge a premium price. Same thing here, Valentine's Day, I love you, just a simple Valentine's shirt. You know, these people on Valentine's Day, you know, they they can charge a premium, like this person could charge more money if they wanted, because they, they're taking those top spots. But you see there's a lot of different variety in here. None of these two look the same like they do here or here. So you have a little bit more variety and flexibility to be able to charge what you want, because you're pretty much charging based off the spot that you're in. You can see, you know, these two are similar right here. Um, 1999, 15.95. They have reviews. Go to page three. You know these are two very similar shirts right here. This one's a dollar cheaper, but this one has two reviews. This one, you know, it just really comes down to. Anyways, you get my gist. It really depends on how many people have similar designs. Um, what's the market like? Is it similar to you, or is it like very different to you? So, with that said, my pricing strategy here will make it bigger. Uh, this is for Stanford Church. So this is what I've been doing, and this is what I find work. Because, yes, here's the caveat. You can have two sales, and you're going to be like, okay, I got two sales. I have a BSR. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to $19.99. That's what I'm going to do. $19.99. That's great. And you might get a sale at $19.99, and you made $5 profit. Fantastic. But you're getting one sale a month off of it for $5. Whereas if you would have priced it for $16.95 and made $3 profit, or or $17.95 and made $3 profit, you would have sold two. Well, that's $6 instead of $5. So you gotta, you just can't just raise your prices, people. It just doesn't work that way. The, I don't, I work in marketing. I know how this crap works. I, a lot of these people don't, these gurus, they just don't understand that's not how it works. You, you gotta do A-B tests. Where you test A and you test B and you see which one performs better. And this is exactly what I did. And so I'm giving you guys my pricing strategy based off several designs that I did these A-B tests on. Obviously, you have to have good SEO if you're, if you're doing this and good designs if you're doing this. Um, so zero to two sales, you want to get that rank, the BSR. That's why I said sometimes you can buy your own church, the, you know, especially popular ones, to boost up that rank. You, you keep it at $13.95. At two, after two sales, raise it to $16.95. Uh, yes, it's a big price jump, but like I said, you want to kind of be in that middle tier. You don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low. And you want to prove that people still want it. They're still demand for the product because you don't want to outprice yourself and outprice the competition. And then people are going to gear towards everybody else. Obviously, if you have reviews, you can start charging 1995 and start charging a lot more money. Or in your top, you can charge a lot more money. But this is kind of just like a, a generic template. So after four sales, I'd go from 695 to 1895. Are people still buying it? Yes or no, if people are not buying it, especially if it's like an evergreen shirt and it's not a, a, a trend shirt, that means you're probably charging too much or you have similar designs uh, that other people have that are similar to yours that are charging less. So if they are continuing to sale, another two sales at six, okay, let's raise it to 1995. Six plus sales, that's right. You've basically proven yourself in the market. You probably have reviews at this point. You've had six sales. You've shown people still want it. Does not matter how much more you increase it and then keep it in at 1995. This is just stands or shirts, obviously hoodies and stuff. You're going to charge a lot more money. Um, now, should you charge more than 1995? Uh, none of the data has really kind of shown that yet. 
Um, I've seen some 21, 95, 1995. It's just once you go to the 20s, mentally, people are like, oh, it's $21 as opposed to $19. It's a much bigger mental jump for people. So um, I think they need more data and more testing to be able to prove that out. Um, but generally, 1995 is the highest I go. And that's usually, like I said, six sales reviews dominating that market um but hopefully this video helps i know it might be a little bit confusing or you know ryan might say something different or or uh, jonah might say something different shimmy might say something different somebody else might say something different you know you you know do what works for you you have to do your own test these are the tests that works for me like i said i work in marketing market research i know how this stuff works i actually have experience doing this and um and it's obviously worked for me so with that said, I hope you liked this video. Uh, it was a lot of work. <laughs> um, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for the weekly movers and shakers. Take care.